welcome back again in speaking session in today lecture we will talk about non verbal communication we will discuss non verbal communication its functions its importance and what are the key role of non verbal communication in easy wording you can say that when you use body language when you are trying to convey your message when you are trying to talk someone then you can say that it is non verbal communication you can use your body language like hands your eyes your teeth it means that facial expressions is the part of non verbal communication there are many points that can show that uh, verbal communication is different from non verbal communication but most of the time we try to talk in verbal communication but some extent we try to indulge ourselves in non verbal communication but both are the part of our communication without uh, non verbal communication i think we can't convey our message to anybody so for our communication we should use both of the communication in our daily routine matters like if you will use words if you will not use uh, gestures if you will not use your body language then it will be useless it will be like a lazy it is like a awkward you feel when you are trying to you are delivering your message so according to me according to different opinions we should use verbal as well as non verbal communication in our daily matters so let's discuss uh what is non verbal communication non verbal communication means when you used body language in your communication then it is non verbal communication it can be uh gritted your teeth like this if you will use hands when you are trying to say something if you will show happiness if you will show anger if you will show um uh, excitement through your expression then it can be non verbal communication so there are many advantages there are many importance there are many merits of non verbal communication as compared to uh, verbal communication so let's discuss importance of verbal communication it is accurate uh, it is flexible it is reliable so importance point of verbal communication because verbal communication you use most of your body language if you will not use your body language then your communication will be bogus your communication will be word your communication will be useless in your practical life so you should use non verbal communication in your practical life so, uh, some of the thinkers uh, they tell us about six functions of non verbal communication so let's discuss about six functions of non verbal communication first one is to provide information to so regulate the flow conversation third one is to express emotion to express emotion quality complement fifth one is to control influences of others and fifth one is teaching someone so these are the some functions that is very important for our non verbal communication both communication skills are very important in your life and uh, for the sake of your communication you should utilize both of communication if you want to become a good speaker if you want if you want to deliver a good message to anybody then you should use non verbal communication but uh, according to me according to our philosophers we should use both of the communication in our daily conversation because like if i am talking with you i am just uh, standing like this i am not using hands i am not using my facial expression i am not using eyes i am not using my teeth lips then my communication is useless and uh, i will stand like this so if i will stand like this then it show that you are showing nervousness you are so nervous for the sake of uh, showing your confidence for the sake of showing your ability then you should use your body language you should use your hands you should use your 
teeth you should use your mouth all the all are the part of non verbal communication because without gestures without body language without facial expressions your communication is useless so we should use non verbal communication as compared to verbal communication but when you are presenting yourself when you are giving some kind of presentation then we should use both of communication skills both of the skills non verbal communications and verbal communication in our daily life as well as in our speech in our debate any kind of working you are doing if you are are doing business then you want to present yourself if you will show your message in the shape of body language when you will use if you will use whiteboard then you have to use your hands so it is a non verbal communication so you should consider this you should uh, realize you should use all the time non verbal communication because it has a lot of it has so many importance it has so many functions in your life if you will use definitely you can show confidence when you are trying to convey any message to anybody so you should use non verbal communication because it has so many importance in your business life in your practically life in your current life without without non verbal communication your verbal communication is also useless so we should use both of communication in our daily activities